now let us see about operator precedence parser parse the input string a plus b star c star d using the following grammar e produces e plus t by t t produces t star f by f f produces a by b by c by d so now we have to follow four steps step one we have to check whether the given grammar is operator grammar or not operator grammar means it should satisfy two constraints the first constraint is two adjacent variables cannot be placed on right hand side of the production let me have a production like this s implies a a b so there is no problem it is a valid production why because here this a and this b are not adjacent variables so let we have a production like this s implies a b this is not a valid production why because operator gra grammar means two adjacent variables cannot be placed on right hand side of the production okay so if you place plus here a plus b it is a valid production okay next second uh, constraint is epsilon cannot be allowed so if we have let we have another production like epsilon so we can't place epsilon here so operator grammar means we need to satisfy these two constraints okay adjacent variables cannot be placed on right side of the production and the second rule is epsilon cannot be placed on right side of the production suppose if it is a non operator grammar if it is not a operator grammar then we have to convert that non operator grammar into the operator grammar with the help of some simple substitutions okay uh, here there is no problem e produces e plus t by t so here adjacent variables are not there here between a and t we have plus so t no epsilon is there t star f f a b c d so this is operator grammar there is no problem second step is we have to construct operator precedence relation table okay operator precedence relation table step 3 is parse the given input string suppose if we get accepted state that means if the corresponding input string is accepted by the operator precedence parser then we need to generate parse tree suppose let the input string is not accepted by the operator precedence parser then it is no need to generate the parse tree okay and now let us see the problem so what is the first step Uh, uh, we have to check whether the grammar is operator grammar or not yes the given grammar is operator grammar only and what is the second step we need to construct operator precedence relation table so in order to construct operator precedence relation table we have to take the terminals so here what are the terminals plus is a terminal symbol next star is a terminal symbol uh, next uh, next a b c d are terminal symbols a b c d are terminal symbols and here the string ends with dollar symbol so we have to write dollar also okay and next in the row side also in the column side also write the terminals so plus next to star next to a b c d and string ends with dollar so we have to write dollar also okay dollar also so plus star a b c d dollar okay uh, so here now we have to uh, fill this table uh, here we need to follow some rules identifiers so that means a b c are having higher priority so we have to give higher priority for variables and dollar has lower priority dollar has lower priority uh, suppose uh, let we uh, this is nothing but stack top of the stack elements and these are nothing but input string starting symbols okay uh, suppose top of the stack is plus whereas input symbol is plus uh, we know that uh, plus is a left associative so we have to give more priority for the left to plus why because plus is left associative so likewise let we have star and star top of the stack is star whereas here the input symbol is star so then we have to give more priority for the star why because star has higher priority uh, why because star is what left associative okay 
and now let us fill the table plus and plus so more preference will be given to the this left to plus so greater than plus star out of plus and star star has higher priority so plus has lesser priority than star next to plus and a means plus has less priority than a and uh, next plus and b means b has higher priority plus and c means c has higher priority plus and d means d has higher priority plus and dollar means plus and dollar means plus has higher priority so we have to use greater than next star plus means star has higher priority star star means star is left associative so this star has higher priority star a means a has higher priority b c d next star dollar means star has higher priority next a means a has higher priority and we can't compare a with a variable with another variable can't be compared so that situation won't arises so simply we have to write hyphen variable variable is not possible a dollar means a has higher priority okay next to same 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 next dollar so dollar means it has least priority least priority next if you get dollar dollar then it is acceptance state if you get dollar dollar then it is acceptance state now we have to check whether the string is parsed or not okay so for that purpose uh, uh, we have to uh, write four columns here the first column represents stack stack next to second column represents uh, relation so relation means which operator we are using greater than less than hyphen likewise uh, next column is input string so uh, and the next column represents operation so which operation we have to perform okay next initially stack is empty so we have to write dollar so dollar specifies that stack is empty okay next what is the input string input string is given in the examination if it is not given then we have to generate a input string from the starting symbol okay a plus b star c star d next it ends with dollar and uh, next here what is the top of the stack dollar what is what is the input symbol here a so we have to compare dollar with a so dollar with a means so dollar with a means a has higher priority so here we need to follow only two rules if input symbol has higher priority then stack stop post element then simply we have to push input symbol onto the top of the stack so here a has higher priority so we need to shift a onto the we need to push a onto the stack push can be called as shift so dollar so a is pushed onto the stack so a so a is processed so the remaining input string is plus b star c star d dollar so now what is the top of the stack a what is the input symbol plus so a plus means greater than so that means stack stop most stop symbol has higher priority if stack stop most symbol has higher priority then we need to perform pop operation pop operation means we have to reduce a to corresponding non terminal okay so reduce here what is the top most symbol a so reduce a to f so reduce a to f so now in place of this a we have to write f f next there is no difference here so write the remaining string write the string as it is why because there is no operation performed on plus next what is the top symbol f but here non terminal can't be compared with terminal symbol so only comparison will be made between terminal with terminal so here what is the top most symbol f it is a non terminal that is not possible so we have to move besides its position left to side one position so dollar plus so dollar plus means dollar plus means what is the operator less than so plus has higher priority so we can perform the push operation so push means shift shift to plus so dollar f now that plus is pushed so what is the remaining string b star c star d dollar okay now what is the topmost symbol f plus what is the input symbol b so plus b means plus b means less than so that means b has higher priority input symbol has higher priority so we can shift b we can shift b so plus dollar f plus b 
Now operation on B is over. So what is the remaining string? Star, star C, star D, dollar. Star C, star D, dollar. So now what is the stack stop mode symbol? What is the stack stop mode symbol? B. Next, what is the input symbol? Star. So B star means greater than. So that means stack stop mode symbol has as a priority. So what we have to do? We have to perform the reduce operation. So now this B will be reduced to F. So reduce F implies F. I'm sorry. Reduce F implies A. Reduce F implies B. Forward arrow. So now this F will be reduced to this B will be reduced to F. So dollar F plus now this B is reduced to F. 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 So there is no change in the string star C star D dollar. So here the topmost symbol is F but with non-terminal we can't make any comparison. So move one position left plus. So plus star means plus star means less than. So that means input symbol has higher priority. So we can shift star. We can shift star. Okay. So let us shift star. So dollar F plus F star. So what is the string here? Remaining input string. Star is pushed. So C, C star D dollar. Okay. Next star C. So star C means less than. Less than. Less than. That means input symbol has higher priority. So we can perform the shift operation. So shift C. So dollar F plus F star C. Next, C is shifted. So, star D dollar, remaining input string. Next, C star. So, C star means greater than, greater than. So, that means this uh, uh, stacks stop mode symbol has higher priority. So, we have to perform the reduce operation. So, now we have to reduce C to F. C to F. C to F. So, dollar F plus F star F. So, star... Next, uh, yeah, star D dollar. Remaining input string is star D dollar. Next, F, da, F star. So, non-terminal can't be compared. Next, move one position left. So, star, 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 star. Star, star means, star, star means greater than. So, left star has higher priority. So, here the stack stop mode symbol has higher priority. So, we have to perform the pop operation. So, we have to reduce F to F to Reduce F to T. So we can reduce this F to T. T. So reduce. Reduce. T implies F. I am sorry. What is the production? Yes. T implies F only. So now in place of F we have to write T. So dollar F plus F star. In place of F. F is reduced to T. Okay. F is reduced to T. Next, what is the input string here? What is the input string? Star D dollar. Star D dollar. Star D dollar. This is the remaining input string. There is no difference. So here T. Stack stop mode symbol is T. So this is non-terminal. So we can't make any comparison. Next, star. So star star means. Star star means. Greater than. Greater than. So here stack stop mode symbol has higher priority. So we have to perform the reduce operation. Reduce operation. So, so here in between F and T we have star. In between F and T we have star. So let us uh, uh, actually F star T production. Yeah, here we have uh, uh, T star F. Uh, T star F. Here we have two T star F. So now let us reduce. F star T is nothing but similar to T star F only. So now let us reduce this production to this production to T. So let us write here. There is no space here. So dollar F F plus. Here we have F star T. So that is nothing but T star F only. So it can be reduced to T. So T. Next, what is the remaining input string? What is the remaining input string? Star D dollar. Star D dollar. Star D dollar. So T means it is a non-terminal. So can't be compared. Next to plus star. So plus star means which operator has higher priority? Plus star means star has higher priority. Less than. Less than. So let us write less than here. So less than means here the input symbol has higher priority. So we can push that symbol onto the stack. 
सो डॉलर एफ प्लस टी स्टार एफ प्लस टी स्टार नेक्स्ट डी डॉलर डी डॉलर ओके नेक्स्ट स्टार स्टार डी सो स्टार डी मींस स्टार डी मींस लेस देन सो लेस देन सो लेस देन मींस इनपुट सिंबल हैज अ हायर प्रायोरिटी सो इफ इनपुट सिंबल हैज अ हायर प्रायोरिटी देन व्हाट वी कैन डू वी कैन पुश दैट सिंबल ऑन टू द स्टैक सो डॉलर एफ प्लस टी स्टार सो लेट अस पुश द सिंबल सो डॉलर एफ प्लस टी स्टार डी ओके टी स्टार डी नेक्स्ट इयर ऑपरेशन ऑन डी इज ओवर ऑपरेशन ऑन डी इज ओवर सो द रिमेनिंग इनपुट स्ट्रिंग इज डॉलर डॉलर नेक्स्ट कंपेयर डी विथ डॉलर सो डी विथ डॉलर मींस ग्रेटर देन सो डी हैज अ हायर प्रायोरिटी डी हैज अ हायर प्रायोरिटी सो व्हाट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू परफॉर्म द रिडक्शन ऑपरेशन सो नाउ वी कैन रिड्यूस डी टू एफ वी कैन रिड्यूस डी टू एफ सो डॉलर एफ प्लस टी स्टार so we can reduce this d to f f okay so here we can write as yes. so what is the symbol greater than so reduce here d is reduced to f f implies d f implies d okay next next so let us compare here what is the stack stop mo symbol uh, here what is the input string here here the input string is here the input string is dollar only input string contains dollar only so next let us compare here we have f f is a non terminal so we can't make any comparison next compare star with dollar so star with dollar means greater than so greater than so that means stack has higher priority so now we have to perform the reduction operation so here what is the production we have t star f so we can reduce t star f to t we can reduce t star f to t t so t star f is reduced to t uh, next 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 here we have t so t means it is a non terminal here we have dollar so we can't make any comparison with non terminal we can't make any comparison next here we have plus plus grid plus and dollar so plus dollar means plus has higher priority plus has higher priority so we need to perform the pop operation f plus t but here with f plus t so no production is available we have to reduce f plus t to some production but with f plus t we don't have any production here we have f f plus t but with f plus t we don't have any production okay yeah if if we reduce yeah we don't have any production so we can say that this input string is not accepted by operator precedence bar sir this grammar is ambiguous grammar but operator precedence parser accept some of the ambiguous grammars and it can't accept some of the uh, grammars okay but unfortunately this operator precedence grammar is rejecting this grammar why because here we are not getting any acceptance state so there is no need to construct table what is the table uh, here there is no need to construct parse tree why because here this string is not accepted by the operator precedence parser so in the examination you may get these types of strings also okay so this is about operator precedence parser